We will demonstrate how to replace the undercarriage wiring on the HRT 5H McDonald's breakfast toaster. Turn the power off, allow the unit to cool down, then unplug the power cord. Remove the rear button muffin feeder. Crumb tray, rear curtains, front curtain, and the front muffin catcher. You may need to use a screwdriver to unwedge it from the corner. On older units, remove the top three screws and loosen the bottom two screws. The newer units have a hinge display panel. Therefore, you would only need to remove the top screws. Disconnect the double black wire, number 45, from the cooling fan, and the double white wire, number 46, from the cooling fan, and disconnect the double black wire on the white connector located on the J2 connector on the motorboard. Disconnect the double white wire, number 46, from the contactor coil. Locate and disconnect black wire number 44 from the line side of the contactor coil. It may vary on location. Disconnect the black two wire connector with the red and black wire at this location. Squeeze the tab, remove. Locate and disconnect the six wire black connector located here. Squeeze and pull. Cut the necessary zip ties, however, quantity and locations may vary. Note the raceway at the bottom for the high voltage wires and the raceway for the low voltage wires. Now proceed and remove the non-display side panel by removing the top three screws and loosening the bottom two screws. With the panel open, disconnect the black and white wires from the large fan. Disconnect the two wire connector with the black and red wire on the muffin bagel board. Disconnect the six wire black connector from the muffin bagel board. Please note their locations. Cut necessary zip ties. And cut the DC wires as shown. Remove portion. Okay. Now temporarily close the side non-display cover over the bottom two screws and insert one screw in the top center temporarily hold the panel in place. Now close the display side panel by positioning it over the bottom two screws and insert one screw in the top center. Now lift the center cover. Notice this opening here it must always face towards the non-display side of the unit, otherwise airflow would be affected. Lift one corner of the toaster up. If it's stuck, use a screwdriver to pry the gasket free. Slide it six inches and approximately 10 inches towards the back. Lift the unit over, take a utility knife and cut the gasket near the galvanized panel and the stainless steel, all four corners.
Note the location of the six screws that secure the galvanized panel and remove all six screws. Remove the galvanized panel. Notice the high voltage wiring raceway and the low voltage wiring raceway. Some units have fiberglass sleeving all the way across, others did not. Remove the insulation retainer. And carefully cut the six low voltage wires near the electrical display side. Be careful not to cut the thermocouple. And remove the low voltage section. Now cut the black wire number 45 and white wire number 46 near the display side compartment. Be careful not to cut the white high temperature fiberglass wire for the heater and extract. Now remove the non-display side panel. Carefully set aside. On the opposite end, open the display side panel. With the display side panel open, position it so we do not overstress any of the wiring harnesses. Locate the low voltage wire harnesses, the six wire and two wire, and completely extract from toaster. Next, locate the black and white high voltage wires and completely extract from the toaster. Take the low voltage harness assembly that is pre-assembled with the high temperature sleeving. First take the two wire harness and insert it through the grommet. Followed by the six wire harness. And pull enough slack into the compartment for connection to the control board. Now insert the two wire harness first into the display side of the compartment, followed by the six wire harness. Ensure there's enough slack at both ends for reconnection. Take the high voltage wires, black wire number 45 and white wire number 46, taking the long end, insert the pair of wires through the raceway hull. Pull the black and white high voltage wires through and fish through the supplied fiberglass sleeving. Now fish the opposite end into the raceway leading into the non-display compartment. And pull enough slack through to reach the fan. Now reinstall the insulation retainer over the existing insulation. Line up the holes with the holes on the base of the machine. Be careful not to pinch any of the wiring. Position as necessary. Reinstall, reinstall the galvanized panel in the correct orientation. Secure with the six screws. Now reinstall the non-display side panel. and secure with one screw. Repeat this process on the opposite side, on the displayed side panel. Slide the toaster approximately six inches towards the outer edge. 
then slide towards the front approximately 10 inches then lift the toaster up and then tilt down open the non-display side panel by removing the screw connect the single black wire to the cooling fan terminal connect the white single wire to the cooling fan terminal verify they are secured connect the two wire connector to the top single connector lock into place connect the six wire connector directly below this terminal should be empty secure the black and white wires with a zip tie as shown coil up the excess wires Cut the excess zip tie Close the panel and secure with the screws Open up the display side panel once again by removing the screws Connect the double black wire with the white square connector onto the motor board Connect the other double black wire with the blue connector directly onto the cooling fan terminal. Connect the single black wire directly to the line side on the contactor. Connect the double white wire with the small blue quick disconnect directly to the fan terminal. Connect the other double white wire with the quarter inch quick disconnect terminal directly to the contactor coil. Then connect the single white wire to the line side on the contactor. Reconnect the six wire connector directly onto the small circuit board and secure. Reconnect the two wire connector directly onto the main board terminal and secure. Be sure to coil all excess slack for all the wiring with zip ties. Re secure all wiring with zip ties at the cooling fan near the motor board on the low voltage air harness. No quantity of zip ties may vary. Close the cover careful not to pinch any wires and secure with screws. Reinstall the top cover ensure the opening here for the vent is towards the non-display side of the equipment Reinstall the front and rear curtains, crumb tray, bun feeder, plug the toaster in, and check for proper operation.